a moment ago asked the question, then who gives us bride away? And Alan said, her mother and I do. I know a little bit about the time that they've invested in Rachel's life, the prayers, the thought, the sacrifice. And I've not had the privilege, Rachel, of knowing Benjamin's parents, Stephen and Barbara, but I know this much. It's very evident that you've spent a lifetime investing in your son. He was standing outside uh, when I came back around. Uh, I started the wedding procession in the back, came back around, and he was crying. He said, I just got a text from my dad, and he showed me what it said. Uh, he was very proud of you, and uh, that tells me a lot's been invested. I'm saying to both of you, a lot's been invested in both of your lives up to this point. But today they're saying, we trust that we can give you away to someone that will love you the way we love you. Someone that will protect you. Someone that will provide for you. So in a moment, you're going to say some words that thousands of people have said before, the wedding vows. As far as Benjamin and Rachel's story, it began back in 2017. She just happened to be in a Chick-fil-A with some friends while he was working there when he spotted her and uh, there was just something about her, her smile and uh, her personality that somewhat appealed to him. And that was really the beginning of their story. From there, she came to college down at uh, Crown College and Ben was there. Their friendship began to develop and there were some other folks in between that they dated, but really in 2019, they began to date very seriously and came to the conclusion they'd like to spend the rest of their life together. Benjamin, you may not kiss your bride. Star.